Well, thank you all uh, for joining us. Let me start uh, by uh, thanking a distinguished group of uh, senators, colleagues who have joined together in a bipartisan fashion to address a critical issue that's facing so many of our citizens across the country. Uh, and uh, particularly, I also want to thank the New Jersey Association of Realtors, Home Builders, the American Bankers Association, the Independent Community Bankers Association, the National League of Cities, and the National Association of Counties for their endorsement and strong support. And I want to, in a special way, recognize uh, my uh, lead co-sponsor, Senator Isaacson, who's been uh, tremendous in his uh, efforts to help us build this bipartisan coalition. I, I always uh, thrilled to work with him and, and Senator Landrieu, who is just uh, tenacious uh, is the word that I would use. Uh, even that that very genteel demeanor that she looks like, she's, it, it uh, belies a steely determination which really uh, moves us forward. Uh, and on a personal basis, I want to thank George Casimos, who made the trip from Toms River, New Jersey, has led an effort uh, in this regard and has spread that effort throughout the country, uh, engaging citizens in advocacy to move us uh, forward. Uh, his input has been invaluable during the, uh, the process. We're, we're here together uh, to build support for an upcoming vote in the Senate on the Homeowner Flood Insurance Affordability Act, a bipartisan, bicameral piece of legislation to ensure people can afford flood insurance, stay in their homes, and prevent property values from plummeting. Our bill helps two categories of property owners who have been hit with huge premium increases as a result of bigger waters. And all through no fault of their own, many of these individuals have paid a lifetime, have lived by the rules, raised their standards to previous standards, and met the higher standards, and still find themselves challenged. Uh, all the remaining reforms, however, under Brigitte Waters continue to go into effect, meaning the most costly subsidies will continue to be phased out, but our bill provides protections to primary homeowners and prevents property values from declining. It delays premium increases for this limited number of homeowners until FEMA completes the affordability study that the law required, and it allows FEMA to use additional resources they said they need to complete the affordability study. Huge premium increases are occurring either through remapping or grandfathering phase-outs or through the loss of subsidies for what we call pre-firm properties, the flood insurance uh, maps uh, of which there is an indication here giving you a sense. Uh, the, the, um, the purple dots are those that have already taken effect. The green dots, which is a good part of the country, including my home state of New Jersey, uh, are maps that are introduced, and the rest are maps that are going to be proposed. As you can see, there isn't a state in the country uh, that isn't going to be affected by this reality. This is not a coastal issue. Uh, that's why we have a broad uh, bipartisan support uh, that represents the entire country uh, in this coalition. And uh, part of what we seek to do is to make sure that those who are trying to sell their home, uh, which right now, if nothing changes, will find it virtually worthless as prospective buyers bulk on onerous premiums. And the, uh, that renders the equity in an individual's home virtually worthless. Uh, every state suffers from floods, and every state is subject to updated FEMA, uh, FEMA flood maps, which will result in dramatic rate increases for homeowners. And I've listened to these homeowners back in my home state, people who were paying $800 or 1000 and now are talking about paying 10000 or more. That's simply unsustainable for them. Now, we've tried to reach a delicate balance with this bill that recognizes the need to improve solvency and phase out certain subsidy, but tries to do so without discouraging program participation and thus undermining solvency and fiscal responsibility. And finally, our bill provides uh, for FEMA to get the mapping right. And this is so critically important. In New Jersey, we found that of the maps that were proposed in a wide range of counties, when we challenged those maps working with local municipal county officials and their engineers, uh, the zones that were the most onerous zone, something called the V-zone, which is the most toughest area to be in in terms of consequences and costs, were reduced by 40 to 80 percent. Getting these maps right and using the best science and technology available is critically important to getting uh, the opportunity for homeowners to be able to keep the most significant asset in their life together. 
Um, and finally, it allows the annual 20% rate increases even on the affected properties, uh, just not the additional increases that come from them losing their grandfather status. So we think we've hit the sweet spot here in terms of trying to get this right. We feel it's only right that an affordability study, which I authored in the committee, ultimately gets completed with a recommendation of Congress of how to deal with that affordability before you clobber people with premiums that are going to help, that they're going to cause, I should say, them to lose the biggest asset in their family, which is their home. 